All right, it looks like it's recording. So glad you guys are here with us tonight. Um, first, I just want to say Laura, Crystal, and Jackie did a fabulous job uh, on March 13th, I think is when the posting of their um, recording and recap of Leadership Atlanta. If you haven't listened to it, you need to go listen to it. Okay, <laughs> so they covered some really great information and I'm going to expand on that and um, kind of talk about some different things that were some of just my main major takeaways. I am going to um, touch on the Prime Meridian um, healthcare um, again, but just kind of add some things that um, I noticed on my slides that they didn't mention, but there's just like so much information, you guys, <laughs> like there's no way that you can cover it all in like an hour call. And so anyways, again, if you haven't listened to that one, you need to go back and listen to it to get more um, updates from the things we learned in, uh, from leadership. So you guys, I'm just going to um, share my screen and we're going to go through some slides, uh, pictures of slides that I took um, from some of the meetings. So let me just do that real quickly share this and i would say one of my biggest biggest takeaways from this whole leadership retreat was that it is not too late to get started with your business and rock it out like crazy <laughs> okay so we're going to talk about us and canada sales that gacr or that um sorry cagr is compound annual growth rate and so you can kind of see the us and canada the percentage it was a 17 percent um, growth rate over that five-year time period. When I first got into doTERRA, um, people were talking about how, like, you know, we're gonna, you can kind of see me, in this, uh, uh, like, in the screen on the side, but how, like, a normal business that's kind of just getting started goes up this really, really, like, um, drastic incline, and then will eventually, like, plateau, and I thought, oh, man, that's coming sooner than later. You guys, that is not the case. Like, we are still on this massive, um, incline okay and I don't think it's going to slow down anytime soon and by the time I'm kind of done sharing with you this information I hope that it encourages you guys to know that there are so many more conversations that need to be had with uh, about doTERRA <laughs> okay so um, let's see where my little arrow uh, I kind of lost my arrow you guys so hang on one second I don't know how to make this move and I knew how to make it move earlier today so give me one second um okay here it is okay so here this is the international sales okay so um you can see this um compound annual growth rate is at 42 percent so doTERRA is growing internationally by leaps and bounds you guys this is so exciting okay um so here um global sales in the first eight years okay that's how long it took doTERRA to become a billion dollar company and then it only took us three more years to become a two billion dollar company and then the projection here is pretty awesome in just two more years we're looking at a three billion dollar company okay so do you see how like really we are like not ready to like hit that plateau yet and when i talk a little bit more about prime meridian and that whole thing kind of being in the picture you guys it like it's it's just we're just getting ready to go crazy here <laughs> it's gonna be so awesome super excited about that Okay, so, um, okay, so brand recognition. Okay, I, I'll show you where I live in just a minute on one of these slides, but if you look at brand recognition, we're talking about the doTERRA brand, only eight people, eight in every 100 people in the U.S. has heard of doTERRA. Okay, so we're not even at like 10% yet. Like, we're just, we're still like a baby. We're still babies, <laughs> right? And so uh, this next one, Joel, Really encouraging only two people out of a hundred in the US have purchased doTERRA products so there are so many homes that still need you know to purchase doTERRA and get them in their homes and um, I, I think this has increased but a couple of years ago um, one thing that I heard at a training was that it takes around seven points of contact um, to finally get your yes and I was having people like, they'd be told no once and they'd be like, this is too hard, nobody wants doTERRA. And I was like, well, that's not true. And I learned that your no doesn't mean no, it just means not yet. And if it takes seven points of contact, guys, come on, like let's not give up on, on our friends and family. We know they need this, they just don't realize it yet. And I think like with social media now has, you know, just kind of become like such an awesome platform. I think that number has actually increased, but, um, but I don't know 
maybe maybe Kenzie and all the statistics on that, but um, but it's increased. So don't stop talking. Like don't be a spammer. Like don't be the one you know that people run away from. <laughs> but don't stop having these conversations um, with your people. Um, so super encouraging here. Okay, now this is what I want to show you because people always say, um, I just don't understand how you can build a doTERRA business in Utah. Like everybody has doTERRA. Everybody knows about essential oils. Well, if you look right here with that circle that has 7.8%, you guys, that is most likely Utah County. <laughs> I think that's Utah County. I think, yeah, doTERRA is in Utah County. Is that right, Kenzie? Give me a head shake. I think it is. Okay, so only 7.8% saturation in Pleasant Grove in Utah County. <laughs> okay, so that is where doTERRA headquarters is. And people still don't have doTERRA in their homes, okay? Um, if you look at the 3.2%, that is most likely Salt Lake County, okay? Salt Lake City, capital of Utah. It's one of the bigger cities here. Still, only 3.2%. That's very low, okay? I live right above where it says 3.5%. This is why I can still build a doTERRA business in Utah, where I live, because people don't have oils in their home yet, <laughs> okay? So we're just not gonna give up on these guys. Um, so if we look, um, here are some other cities. Um, the Chicago area, 0.6%. Okay, look at California, their percentages. Idaho, that's probably Boise area, I think. Karina, yeah, that's where Karina lives. And Karina has a successful doTERRA business, 2.9%. Okay, so, um, so we are just like, I mean, we're just kind of scratching the surface here. <laughs> There's... Um, it's nowhere, not, there's nowhere is oversaturated. Okay. Nowhere. It's the, like, really our opportunity is fantastic. All right. So, um, they talked about four pillars. We're all familiar with healing hands. We're all familiar with co-impact sourcing. We're all familiar with, uh, the CPTG. Um, and now we have the prime meridian. Okay. So this is kind of like our fourth pillar. And I just got a text with the social media platform, 23 points of contact, you guys. Like maybe you've had five conversations. Okay, well you still have a whole bunch more to have. So have them. Like don't, don't shrink back because somebody says no. It just means not yet because they just don't know what they don't know, right? So, okay, I really love this slide. We know that our testing is amazing. Um, so 54 tests are completed on every um, sample of our essential oils and 43 of those okay done by doTERRA science and 11 of those are done by our third-party tester which is APRC that is a lot of testing and if anybody tries to tell us that anybody has oils that are tested as much as or better than doTERRA I will not I'm not going to believe them um, but here is a list of those tests okay it includes kind of all of these and I have like no idea what most of these are, <laughs> but, um, but this is huge. Okay. This is super, super huge. That's a lot of, um, that's a lot of care. Okay. Taken into the, the potency and the purity and the quality of our oils. And, um, I'm just a hundred percent convinced that there are no other oils on the planet that compare even come close to doTERRA. And I'm sure most of you <laughs> are on the same page with me about that. So um, this was really interesting. APRC, they tested oils from more than 50 companies, including from direct sellers, online retailers, and retail stores. Okay, so a variety of people who kind of distribute oils. And this is what they found. This is so sad, you guys. Um, the results, there were three companies that consistently had pure oils. And to no surprise, doTERRA is one of the three. Okay, that means that 90% are selling adulterated oils. That is really sad to think. I know people who are like, yeah, I just get lavender from Walmart or yeah, I mean, I can just use this. And I'm just like cringing inside because I know better, <laughs> right? <laughs> and so um, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody, um, but I think the other uh, company was in a boutique. They sell oils from a boutique and their prices were like really, really high. And I think the other one, they didn't name names of course, but the other one, um, I think they had an issue with their sourcing and keeping up with like supply and demand issues. 
and I and I believe they said they're kind of on the brink or at least are heading toward bankruptcy. Hello, like that is a bummer for them, but kind of good news for us, right? So I can't remember what they said the price of the frankincense was that was sold at this boutique, but it was like it was very very expensive um, compared to our frankincense price. So all of the oils tested from these companies, and some have had all of their oils tested. 80% of the oils sold are adulterated. Some reputable social media focused companies were 100% adulterated, and other large companies are 50% or more adulterated, okay? So it's just kind of good to know the numbers because there is like a drastic, like extreme, you know, like when it comes, well, I mean, not even really, most of them are kind of on like the not so good oils, okay? So, um, so I, I was really, um, impressed by this. So I just wanted to point out some examples of common adulterations because when we explain this to people and they're like, well, what does that mean? Okay, this is kind of good to know. It means that their essential oils could include a carrier oil without labeling as such. Okay, mislabeled species, for example, selling cinnamon leaf as cinnamon bark or selling a cheaper form of peppermint or frankincense. Inclusion of aroma chemicals. Okay, that's that's not good. Um, synthetic fragrances and chemicals are added. And then some oils are 95% to 100% complete fabrications made by trained perfumists to smell pure. Okay, so um, this is, you know, this, all this kind of works in our favor as long as we kind of know how to talk about what an adulteration could be and the percentages that are out there. All right, so... Um, this is the typical process of oils coming to the market. Okay, you have your farmer, your distiller, your in-country broker, your perfumist, and then you have your U.S. or, you know, your out-of-country broker and perfumist. You've got two people kind of in the middle. Goes to the company, goes to the consumer. Okay, doTERRA cuts the middleman out. I know you guys know this, okay, but I thought this was a nice visual. Very simple, okay. I'm not impressed with companies who own their own farms. I'm not. I'm impressed with doTERRA. <laughs> Who, who works with already established farmers that have been doing this for generations long and helping them, you know, produce a better, you know, the, the highest quality oil and with our co-impact sourcing initiatives, improving their life, their quality of life in turn, okay? So, um, so this is awesome to me. I'm probably talking really fast. Okay, 15 minutes. Okay, we'll see. You guys might get to bed early today. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so, um, Am I talking too fast, though, Kenzie? I feel like, I'm, am I good? Okay, Karina. No, this is good. great. I'm loving when it. When I get Keep nervous, it <laughs> Give us as much when as I get you nervous, can. I talk really fast. And I'm brave, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> so, okay. This is where it's at, you guys. This is what just drove everything home for me. Why doTERRA now versus 10 years ago? Because you guys know as well as I do, doTERRA had a rocking out first 10 years. Hands down. Okay, so awesome. Um, well, here are a couple of reasons why. Okay, we have all these like materials that help us as builders, users, potential sharers, potential business partners. Okay, we have all of this. We have doTERRA.com that has literally everything we need. We have, I think it shows up in my later slide, maybe not. Okay, so key, these are just some like keys to success. Um, you know, I don't really know if I want to read through all of this necessarily, but if you want, I mean, you can like screenshot it or something or watch the recording of this later. Um, but there's the role of the company over here on the left. And then on the right is the role of um, the wellness advocate leaders. Okay. And so it just kind of looks, just kind of shows us like what each, you know, party's responsibility is in terms of partnering together to, um, you know, to get doTERRA out there. Okay, so this is pretty awesome. Essential oil scientific and medical publications have increased by nearly 400% in the last 10 years. Well, what hit the scene in the last 10 years? doTERRA hit the scene in the last 10 years, right? So I think much of this is a result from doTERRA and their commitment to science and research and all of that. Okay, so 400%, that's pretty awesome. So for the people who are like, I need science, I need articles, I need to see like the research-based proof or evidence that this is legit. Okay, well, 400% increase in the last 10 years. So it is out there. 
and essential oils are studied and you know published research is out there okay so i like i said jackie ginther did a fabulous job talking about prime meridian but there's just like so many details it's, it's just hard to touch on everything so she did cover this part okay these are the qualifications of medical professionals that doTERRA is in the process of rec recruiting right now okay so this is really what i want you to see um, so to refer qualified individuals, you would refer them at this healthcare.doterra.com. Okay, so if you know anybody who kind of fits in this criteria listed here, who would be a fantastic candidate <laughs> to work at one of these prime rating clinics, this is where you would send a referral to, healthcare.doterra.com. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, phase one, again, Jackie touched on all these cities, but I like the visual. Um, and so where there is a star, there's already um, you know, a building in place. The one in Pleasant Grove isn't quite finished yet. I drove by it like two weeks ago and it's making progress. It's, it's big and fancy and I'm so excited that it's coming soon. Um, but the purple ones, St. George and Nashville, those ones are already up and running. Okay, they already have patients and there's no waiting list. You can just get going. And so this is phase one. Um, looking at phase two, okay, these are the cities that are going to be added in phase two. I'll give you guys like a couple seconds to look at each of these. Celebrate when you see that one's coming near you. Take a little sip of my coffee because it's awesome. Okay, phase number three. <laughs> Here are the next ones coming. And um, they said that they would like to see phase one through three completed in uh, at least five years. And then Dave Sterling was like, but you know how we do things. It'll probably be less than five years. So he kind of threw out the timeline between three and five years. Um, all of these right here, these top 30 cities should be in place with primary and healthcare. Now, if you're looking and you're like, oh man, like that's like three hours away. Um, I have good news for you coming up, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Okay. So life-changing healthcare, better healthcare, lower costs. Like who doesn't want that? Who does not want better health care with a lower cost? Okay, so let's take a look at this. There are two kind of tiers to this, and I don't fully understand the secondary care, but, um, but Jackie kind of touched on it, like in the previous Zoom call. Um, but primary care is focused on preventing disease and not only treating acute illness, and um, deliver, it's delivered through a provider who knows you and understands your health needs. Okay, so... Um, this is the cost chart and um she covered this too but again i because i just love the visual side of things it's 99 bucks per, per like for the first person okay it's not a hundred dollars for everybody okay look at a family of four down there two hundred dollars like that that is insanely like affordable <laughs> do you know what i mean compared to what a lot of families are are paying and then every additional child's fifteen dollars more Okay, 10% discount if you are a wellness advocate and you get additional discount for referring people. Okay, so this is fantastic. This is, this is going to be a blessing, really, honestly, to so many people, so many families. Um, so you, you can refer, you know, obviously our fellow doTERRA wellness advocates or um, customers, but anybody, anybody, it's open to the public. So we want people who don't really know a whole lot about doTERRA to go to this, these places so that they can learn more about them. Okay, so why primarating healthcare? Because it's going to remove insurance companies from between you and your healthcare provider. And it's going to shift the focus upstream by training, uh, by treating diseases and not symptoms. Okay, that's huge. And why now? Because our healthcare is obviously super broken and the costs are unsustainable. Okay, there are families who literally just cannot afford healthcare. It, they just, it's like healthcare or food on the table. Okay, so then what happens when they need healthcare? It's out of pocket expense. And so, um, so this is gonna be really great for people. So doTERRA's original mission statement, okay, now has added uh, Prime Meridian. I think that's what this slide's about. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Um, so here's the vision. To lower healthcare costs and improve patient outcomes by incorporating essential oils and other integrative approaches into the allopathic healthcare system. Okay, so number one, we're going to implement a patient-centric clinic um, healthcare model that utilizes integrative medicine. Number two, 
um, we're going to prove through research um, the efficacy and cost saving of essential oils. Okay, so we already, I can't remember, there was a guy that came from, oh gosh, I can't even think of the statistics thing. What is that thing called? Um, I can't remember. They did a study, but people who are using essential oils were healthier and saving money. <laughs> uh, if somebody wants to text me, what is that? They get like all this demographic statistics for everything. You can text it to me and I'll throw it out there if you remember. So I found the Gallup. Thank you, Gallup poll. Yes, the Gallup polls. <laughs> they, they ran a study. And it was specifically uh, with people who were using doTERRA essential oils and they were looking at their health care outcomes and their health care costs and their health was better and their costs were lower. Okay, so um, that was really interesting. Um, it, you could probably Google it and find some more information on that. So here are the objectives. Um, integrated approach to healthcare, number one. Number two, lowering healthcare costs. Number three, improve accessibility and ease of access. And number four, to improve healthcare outcome by focusing on the whole person. Okay, so um, now let's see, let's talk a little bit more about what this looks like. So currently, on average, a patient will spend six face-to-face -face minutes with their health healthcare provider. And um, that's not very long, you guys. <laughs> And it may not even be like a whole face-to-face. -face. It could be like a little bit face-to-face -face and then, you know, he has to go do his notes or whatever. I shouldn't say he. The doctor has to go do their notes. Um, so in the future, 30 to 40 minute visits. Okay, they're really focusing on like time-focused, relational healthcare. Okay, so um, episodic treatment currently versus on whole person treatment. No patient relationship, number three, um, doctor who knows you. Number four, allopathic medicine. Um, over here in the future, we're gonna include holistic alternative. And number five, time consuming. I love this part. Look at number five, it's in bold, okay? Uh, telemedicine and online scheduling. You can just go schedule your appointment online. And if it needs to be like this, you know, similar to like a FaceTime call or like a Zoom, you can totally, um, schedule an appointment and hopefully address your needs and questions just online, just like this. Don't even have, you just sit around in your pajamas and like talk to your doctor, right? So um, that's really awesome. And you pay, um, doctors get paid by the number of patients. Okay, that's why you're probably only gonna see them for six minutes on average versus um, an increased overall outcome of patient health. So um, I love the vision for this. Um, it's, it's exciting to me. Okay, so um, what does this mean for you? What does this mean for us? Validation of essential oils through research and standardization. Increased growth of your team. Okay, so Jackie touched on that. Like people who are not being referred to people that they already know who use doTERRA, they're gonna put in like a little orphan pool and they're gonna get distributed to people who are, um, I think the qualifications were like silver and above and you have to have like at least one enrollment that particular month or whatever. It just shows that you are a business builder and that you're gonna take care of people that they send your way, okay? So exposure to new demographic, uh, this word, uh, <laughs> I can't say it very easily, decommoditize our oils, <laughs> you can see it. doTERRA becomes the global standard, okay? You guys, what is gonna happen to our businesses when doTERRA actually is recognized as the global standard? Seriously, okay, so don't give up. Like if you feel like, man, I'm just kind of in a rut, I'm telling you, like, the only way to not succeed at this business is to stop doing it, literally. Like, so don't stop. Create large groundswell movement, just like what happened in 2008. 2008 was not an ideal time to start a brand new company like this, okay? Our economy and all that kind of stuff was kind of like not doing very awesome. But what happened in those last 10 years, starting in 2008, has been fabulous, okay? So this is kind of like a second wave of massive growth with doTERRA. So they used to talk about being like in the midst of a perfect storm back when I enrolled. I think we're like right in the midst of another perfect storm, you guys. Okay, so it is coming. All right, they did talk about tea tree oil. Okay, Mel Luca changing to tea tree. But there are a couple of details that I want you guys to know about because people are gonna probably start asking you like, okay, why isn't it called Mel Luca anymore? Why is it called tea tree? And if I explain this incorrectly, I'm sure somebody can correct me, and that'd be awesome. But um, I think it had to do with naming the specific 
like species or something like that. Is that right? And so they change it to tea tree oil. And if you notice now on the label, it's only going to show that it's used for topical and aromatic use. And that has to do with the global distribution, like with the label kind of meeting like global requirements. So Emily Wright, when she was explaining this, just said it doesn't mean that it's not safe for internal consumption. If it was just a U.S. label, it would still have the internal consumption, you know, thing on there. She said that she's going to keep using Meluca internally. I am also going to keep using oh, tea tree <laughs> internally. Um, but you just need to know this because people are going to notice it and be like, okay, why are you telling me to take this internally when the label says for topical and aromatic? And some people are going to be like, no way am I putting that in my body because it doesn't say it on the label. And that's fine. Okay, that's their preference. So maybe you might have to alter some of your recipes or recommendations based on that. But you do need to know this so that you can kind of explain it to them. So then the other question that Emily addressed was, okay, well, are we going to see that on other labels then? Are you going to make changes to other labels? And she said no. So I just, I just trust Emily, right? <laughs> and I don't know all the details, but I know they do. So she said it's not going to become an issue with other, you know, labels on other um, oil bottles. But for some reason with Melaleuca, it is. Okay. So there you have it. Um, how are we doing? Okay, 30. Good. We're doing, doing good. Uh, I just wanted to show you the Mother's Day kit. This is what it looks like. Um, if they happen to sell out of the diffusers, which they're kind of projecting, <laughs> you can still purchase the oil by itself as long as the supplies last. Okay, I would imagine there's probably a limit. There's usually like a limit on this kind of stuff, um, but I don't know what it is per household or per account. Um, this one smells great. Okay, I like it. It's four. The limit is four, Kenzie's saying. Okay, so you get four of these per account. The Island Mint is actually my favorite of the two. This one is just lovely. <laughs> I really like it. And it comes, that's with the little um, car diffuser. It just clips onto your air vent and then it has those little felt thingies that you can interchange for different scents in your car. Okay, so that's what those look like. Um, we're gonna talk about BOGO week, you guys, because I think some people just kind of let it come and go without taking full advantage of how effective BOGO week can be in terms of sharing an oil, getting oils in people's hands, um, and enrollment. So check this out, 15,000. This is the average number of new US enrollments during BOGO week. That's a pretty good number. 3,000, this is the average number of US customers um, of BOGO reactivates. Okay, so reactivation, we like that. 64% of customers enrolled during a BOGO week. Okay, oh sorry, 64% of customers enrolled during a BOGO week remain active afterwards. Okay, because they have their account now. Like, why not be active, <laughs> right? It just all of a sudden became so much more convenient and they can just do everything on their own. Convenient for everybody, for you and them, okay? So if you're not familiar with how like the BOGO campaigns run, okay, they're usually, you know, BOGOs win. February, November, when's the other one? Kind of missing it. July or something? I think it's in June. June, something like that. Okay, so kind of be be familiar with the months that BOGOs are run and start talking it up, being like, hey, February is usually a BOGO month. Hey, November, Thanksgiving, usually a BOGO week. <laughs> okay, so start talking it up so people can be ready and prepared instead of having like that day or two to like, you know, um, just last minute cram whatever they can to get BOGO the word out, okay? So you guys utilize BOGO week, it is really effective. And who's like free stuff? I mean, I'm, I haven't actually never met anybody who doesn't like free stuff, <laughs> so. Um, now these slides are really fuzzy. <laughs> see if I can see the numbers. So silver is and above, okay? This is, you know, obviously the US. You can find your state and see how many silvers and above are in your state. Okay, so Utah has 926, California has 1,310, okay? Arizona has like 370. The ones over here on the East Coast, I'm sorry, um, those numbers are really crunchy and it's hard to see. Um, but I want you to look at the pattern here. Okay, so now we have diamonds and above. Okay, in Utah, still pretty high number, 171. 
California, 101, Nevada, 26-ish, Arizona, 37. Okay, look what happens here. Oh, that's the same slide. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> nothing actually happens there. But what I want to, let's see, U.S. Diamonds Above, why? Um, U.S. Diamonds Above, it's the same one. Yep, sorry, guys. So that's the same, the same one. So here, here's what the takeaway is from this, okay? The diamond number is lower on average anyway, but you guys, look at how many silvers are in Oregon. 310. Where are these silvers headed? Toward diamond right? So it is just a matter of time. That's the only difference between this slide and this one. It's time. So if you don't give up on your business, okay, you're going to become one of these numbers on the diamond slide eventually, if you're not already. If you already are, I love it. I'm celebrating with you. You are represented on this map, which is super cool, okay? So, um, so it's time. All right, um, I'm just gonna breathe for 20 seconds. So if you guys wanna like breathe with me, maybe only like 10 seconds. I just need to catch my breath. <laughs> Karina, <laughs> hey, <laughs> buddy. Okay, so we're going to talk about LLV because those of us who use it know how fantastic it is. And this is a really great way to get people on the LRP program, okay? So um, just know these basic things, okay? Know those two basic things about the Alpha CRS, if, if like at a minimum, just know this, okay? Um, here we go, the human body organ systems. It targets like all of these, okay? Everybody needs some support with all of these different body systems, and this targets all of that. Um, so they were really just reminding us not to leave this piece out because the LLV is one of doTERRA's top selling products. Okay, Laura talked about that um, on the previous call. And um, like, who wouldn't say yes to this? Would you like to feel younger and longer? Who's gonna say no to that, you guys? Okay, a lot of people are already taking a multivitamin. If it doesn't cost quite as much as doTERRA's, it's gotta be close. In some cases, probably more. Okay, so you want to listen to things like this. Oh, I just can't sleep at night. Oh, my body hurts all the time. I get sick all the time. And I'm just kind of feeling emotionally down. I have less vitality. I'm forgetful. My skin looks old and my hair is lifeless. Okay, I mean, people don't really talk like that, but I mean, you can see that, right? <laughs> so um, sometimes, like sometimes, I mean, you don't want to say to somebody, hey man, your skin's looking old, sister, and your hair. Uh, you need this okay like you know that <laughs> but um but you know like I can't sleep how many people say that I wish I had more energy my body hurts all the time okay those are like three probably the most common things that we that we hear and, and, and like having this conversation with people you know like it changes their life like this this is a game changer the LLV changes people's lives for sure Okay, so this, I really like this. This was a, a vitality assessment that they showed, and you could make something like this up, and you could have it at your classes. Okay, you could throw it on SurveyMonkey and put it on wherever you want to put it. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, super simple. And they get to rate this. My sleep is satisfying, and I wake feeling rested. Always me. It is now. Never me. Okay, how many people would say never me? Okay, and so you can just kind of look through these questions and they can kind of rate how they feel and just be like, man, I have just the right thing for you. And it's our number one selling product, our lifelong vitality pack. Do you want to feel younger, longer? I mean, seriously, who's going to say no to just learning about it? Okay, so AM, PM meal. This was really helpful for me because I have people tell me, Man, like the full dose, like, I mean, I just, I'm like, my energy levels are flying off the charts or the full dose just made me feel weird. Okay. Well, I really like this because it talks about body size and this makes a significant difference. Okay. So small, okay. Would be considered less than 120 pounds. Okay. And here's the serving. See that S right there. Okay. A serving would be one of each. Okay, so if they're, you know, 120 pounds or less um, average, 
you know, everyone's needs are differently, but this is kind of average. They're going to take one of each in the morning, one of each at night, breakfast, dinner, super easy. Okay. If they're more than 120 pounds, then you're going to want to recommend that they take two of each in the morning with their breakfast and in the evening with their dinner. Now we all know you don't want them to take them at night because it gives you energy and we still want people to sleep. So like if they're eating dinner at like nine o'clock and they go to bed at 10, that might not work out so well. So I always kind of like to point that out. But, um, but it's okay to recommend like a lower dose, okay? And to talk about people freak out and be like, what, 10 pills, that's crazy. And I'm like, no, it's beautiful. It's beautiful because you can customize what your body needs. Instead of just cramming all this stuff in your body that doesn't need it, you're gonna waste your money, you're gonna waste your product, right? You can be able to use exactly how much your body needs. And if it's the full dose, fabulous. If it's not, then you're not wasting your money. And that switches people real quick. And they're like, oh, oh yeah, I get it. That is pretty cool. doTERRA cares about my money. doTERRA cares about my body, right? So I really like that. Um, so addressing the GI or other adverse issues. I do have a couple people who are like, man, I just burp up that oil thing all day long or whatever, you know. Here are some things that you can you know, kind of recommend or keep in mind, spread evenly between your largest two meals. Okay, if it's mild issues, reduce the serving and put it in half. If the issue persists, try separate use of individual products to see kind of which one's causing, you know, the adverse, you know, issue. Um, if it continues, you're gonna stop the use for a week and then if you wanna try, use it again, maybe half the dose or lower the dose or whatever, just kind of experiment to see what makes your body happy. Um, and if it's a more serious issue, then, you know, then discontinue use of the product if they're really like, man, this is really it. But boy, I would say this would not happen very often. At least I can only think of like two people who have had issue with it in the last six years that I've been sharing doTERRA. Okay, so just a couple of recommendations. 80 bucks, you guys, and you get points back. And you can return it if you don't like it, okay? I like to recommend people use it, give it a nice, fair, awesome, like three month go, because it takes a minute for your cells to kind of cycle and regenerate and kind of your body system to kind of like acclimate to something new to really notice a difference. And this is a 30 day money back guarantee. But I always like to just be like, give it three months and then let's reassess how you're doing. Okay. That's just my personal preference. All right. Okay. Markets opening up. This is awesome. Philippines, summer, they say June ish, 2019. So if you have people in the Philippines, let's get them on board. South Africa, same summer, 2019. Israel, second half of the year. And Colombia, second half of 2019. Okay, so these are coming. Uh, 14 to 30 day notice will be given prior to the official commencement of sales. Okay, so you're going to have a heads up so you can let your people know. Um, these are future markets that they're working on. So India, U the Ukraine, Thailand, and Indonesia. Super exciting. All right, so if you have questions about new market development, this is an email that you can send, okay? Um, so Brazil, Russia, Philippines, and South Africa. This is, you can get information on those uh, particular markets right now. Okay, so this is great. You can purchase these individually now. You used to have to kind of purchase them in a bundle. And I really love um, these uh, kits here. This just kind of shows like regions that the kits, you know, communities that these kits have helped ac across the nations. And um, there's been a lot of things even just right here in the U.S., okay, like the fires in Redding, the floods right now in Nebraska. They're sending a bunch. They're just like totally distributing them out there. Um, just wherever there's a need, they're sending these, um, these hygiene kits. So if it's like, man, I just you know, like doing that, you know, uh, kits of four for a hundred bucks. If that was kind of like, man, I just, it just hits my budget too much. You can do, you can purchase them individually now, which is great. Okay. So healthy habits for life. This is doTERRA spring tour. You can Google this and find the schedule and look for an event coming to you. Get there and take new people there and tell your leaders everywhere around the country to go and take new friends. Okay. Um, I think, 
So it's a $10 registration. Okay, so um, it's like a two day event, it looks like. And um, the first day, it's from two to five, it's $10. Um, it's personal development stuff. And then the next day, or maybe it's just the next session. Looks like it could be just like one day. And there's just one day, sorry. But they have like a, you know, like an earlier session. That's the one you need to pay for. And then seven to nine is free. Why doTERRA? It's going to talk about people, product, quality, and culture. Okay, so um, this is really good, like product information. They're going to be doing like product raffles and stuff. So potential sharers, okay, who don't even know they're a potential sharer, but you do. You know how people just are kind of on your radar? Take them and, and tell them to bring some friends. Give them incentive for bringing two friends. Do what you need to do to get people there. So this event is for everyone. Okay, so they're going to be able to kind of get, you can, they can buy the daily habits kit at 20% um, off the wholesale price, which is fabulous. And you can get one free, is that Copaiba? I think it is. One free Copaiba. And if they roll, enroll with 100 PV at the event, they get a free balance. Like everybody I'm sure has Copaiba and balance in their house, right? <laughs> and so those are great incentive oils. Those are very awesome incentive oils, actually. All right, so I think we're kind of getting close to the end. Um, this was the last day of convention, or excuse me, of leadership. The second day was just, you know, like we had breakout sessions, and I don't really have any information from, from those. But, um, but what I will say is it was all about personal development, <laughs> okay? So, um, so prioritize that, okay? Prioritize it in your daily, make it a daily pipeline. Make it a daily practice for personal um, development, okay? So here we are, primed for growth. Less than 3% is using doTERRA, okay? doTERRA is the largest essential oil company in the world. And I know other people say that they are, but they are not, okay? doTERRA is the largest essential oil company in the world. That statistically, that's just where it's at, okay? So um, we have 130 essential oils from over 45 countries. Okay, we're generating jobs worldwide, fair labor, labor conditions and pay. We provide long-term partnerships with people and a sustainable growth model. Okay, so it was like maybe a year and a half or two ago, I think doTERRA had like 82% exclusive contracts with our farmers. That was really impressive to me. I was like, that pretty much rocks because that means that nobody else has access to the best essential oil sources on the planet. And I think it was at, um, just right at convention, 94 or 96. It was like 90, we're either 94 or 96. I think it's 96%. We have 96%, even if it is 94, super awesome. Okay, exclusive contracts with our farmers. Obviously the goal is 100%, but we literally have, you know, like we have that. Like who else has that? Nobody, I'm just gonna tell you, in case you don't know, nobody has that, okay? So I love doTERRA's foresight. I love how they're like many, many steps ahead of the game, okay? They just know their stuff and they know how to secure and you know focus on sustainability and growth and all that, super great. All right, so here we have it. We have eBooks. If you didn't know that, you do now. So go find them and go share them with your people send them a text, send them a private message, throw it on your profile, throw it on Instagram, whatever. Look at all of them. There's like 14 of them. We have 14 eBooks. Did you guys know that? Okay. And they're cool. They're really cool. We have webinars. Okay. The monthly webinars that you see advertised in your back office, they are archived. Okay. If you have somebody struggling with their hormones, send them the women's health webinar link. And then they'll be like, hey, girl, can I get that women's health kit? And I'll be like, heck yeah, okay? If you don't, like, address their needs, they're not going to know what to do, okay? I, I seriously, I've had so many women get that women's health kit because I, I knew they were struggling, and I sent them that webinar. And they're like, is this stuff for real? And I'm like, yes, ma'am. And they love it. And then, hello, word of mouth, right? Then they go tell all their other, like, friends who are, like, have freaking out hormones and then they all want it. Okay. So share all of these tools. They're right there. There's no excuse. Um, body system protocols. It's right there. doTERRA.com. Go to education and they're right there. It's um, empowered 
empowered something. It's empowered. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is later. I'll look it up. Okay, so finishing up here. Why doTERRA? Why now? Okay, we're sacrificing what's most important to us, our time. Okay, our time is very valuable. So I really loved this because it asked the question, what is your value per hour? So check this out. If you are making average gold income, which is 58,500 a year, there are 48 working weeks in a year. You divide that income by the number of weeks, and then you have the value of a week. And then you divide it by how many hours you're working, which on average is 15 hours a week. Okay, you divide that up. Your time is worth $81 per hour. I personally don't know anybody who makes $81 an hour outside of doTERRA. Maybe you guys do, okay? Probably don't know very many of them. I personally do not. And this is looking pretty awesome. And since I've been with doTERRA, I have learned to protect and value my time. There are things that I simply won't do because it won't pay me by the hour enough because I know better. I know better now, okay? So gold, you guys, you need three lines. You need three premieres. Let's go do it. Let's, if you want a successful business with doTERRA, you can have it. Okay, my favorite thing that Natalie Rigby says is get to work. Get to work. If you want a successful business, just get to work. Okay, you can, we can all do this. Love it. Okay, lost time is never found again. It's the one thing we can never get back. Here's our competition, okay? Uh, crappy, I mean, I'm, I wasn't gonna say that, but crappy oils, okay? You wanna go to the health, you know, to the craft store and get some frankincense for $7? I mean, I guess you could do that. Like rose oil for $7? No, thank you. Okay, so cruddy oils, okay? Uh, these right here that are like kind of crowding our time, okay? People are driving Uber, Lyft, they, they've got these other, they're doing eBay on the side, all this stuff, okay? That is taking up time that could be used in building your doTERRA business, okay? So managing your time. I mean, Netflix, I mean, I don't really need to say anything more about that, <laughs> right? You can either watch the tube or you can go share a, a webinar on women's health with your neighbor who's, you know, drenched in hormonal sweats, whatever. I mean, it's your choice, you, you know, whatever you wanna do. All right, this is fantastic. So here we have poverty level just getting by, right? And then wealth is way up here. This is not correct. You guys, look at what is correct. Look at where wealth actually falls. It's just above just getting by. And then it just can grow from there. Okay, so consistency is the key. Be consistent in your business. Freedom, yes please. Financial freedom, time freedom, health freedom happiness for the most part, um, for the most part, <laughs> okay, um, I'll just leave it at that, um, I have more than enough for myself, and I will look for ways to bless those around me, it's the whole free to give concept that doTERRA talks about all the time, they are going to be the company who gets the most people out of debt, so that we can be free to give, okay, it's purpose, Okay, 69% of Americans have less than $1,000 in savings. Okay, let's up that. Let's get lots of thousands of dollars in our savings and have it like overflowing so we can give. Okay, many of us are sitting on a million dollar business and we just don't even realize it. We're totally just camping out on it. Okay, so this is a great breakdown. Um, money that you get from doTERRA, Okay, the fast starts that you get, this just is like a recommendation on how to budget your money in a way that you're pouring back into your business to help your business grow, okay? So your fast start money you could use toward tools and samples. Your power of three you could save for travel budget. Your bonus pools can help eliminate debt, save training events, additional travel. And then your UNA level is yours. That's what you make, your unilevels. We, that's, we make the most money from our unilevel commissions, okay? So that would be what we use as income. And then those other three, um, you know, means of income is how we would, you know, pour it back into our business to build. 
So I really liked what was said about this. Okay. Don't be the dam in the river. It was followed up with be the damn river. <laughs> okay. Be the damn river and just go for it. You guys don't be the dam that stops the flow in your business. Okay. Just, I, I liked that. So you got crappy and damn today <laughs> on the sizzle. Could be worse, I suppose. Get rid of your money blocks. That was a good little visual. Okay, you've got this versus this. Speaks volumes. Okay, you can wait for one day or this can be day number one. It's your decision. Okay, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna wait around for that one day for it to be the right time? It is not ever the right time. Okay, something will always come up that's gonna try to crowd your time and you will make time, you will make time for what you prioritize and what's important to you. So if Netflix is more important than helping your neighbor who's like drenched in hormonal sweats, then you're gonna prioritize time on Netflix. That's just where it's at, okay? That's where it's at. So our privileges are not for our pleasure, our privileges are for our purpose. And I think that's where I end. So I'm going to stop sharing, and if you guys want to have some comments or questions, I'm sure we can open the floor to that, but otherwise I'm done. Thanks for listening. I hope it was good. I hope, oh it, I hope you guys came so away good. with some cool information. Way <laughs> so. cool. It was so nice to hear um, your perspective on, on all of that because, I mean, we get to see like slides, and those of us who don't go to leadership, everyone's been posting pictures, right, of the slides. And so you try to paint your own picture, but to hear like, really the recap and feel your excitement, I think it takes it to another level. So I really appreciate you being willing to do this and put that together for us. No problem. What questions do you guys have? <clears throat> it was really, really awesome to hear you present on the stuff that I missed. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, you said that um, Israel is going to open up soon. Did I hear that right? You did, but I don't think they have a timeline yet. I know it, I, maybe it was on that side, but I, but those are the ones that they're kind of working on opening. So we need to talk to, um, and I need to talk to Jesse. She has relatives in Israel. Yep. Let's get it on the radar. The sooner, the better. Let's yep. prepping your people and getting the conversation started for sure. <clears throat> yep. Tell me the river quote one more time, because that was good. Don't be the dam in the river. Be the damn river. <laughs> I, love that. I love that. Yeah, I think that's the quote that will go on my uh, updated vision board, actually. Uh, yeah, Just that's fantastic. That. If you don't have a vision board, get one, by the way. Love it. Yeah, I had Alex make one today. Nice. Janet, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I loved how this is the first I heard that they said it was okay to take a half dose of LLV. That's awesome. Yeah. And I've always been kind of like um, questioning, like, you know, how do they work like the money back guarantee thing on that? But then I'm just like, why am I even questioning that? Because that's like such a low, 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 low percentage that people actually are like, Hey, this is stupid. Give me my money, my money back. So I kind of was like, eh, you don't really need to worry about that. So, in fact, they said the, I, I, they, I think they told this percentage. It was very, very, very low. I, I think it was like less than 1%, honestly. Was that, was that true, Lateran? Where are you? I think it was like less than 1% or something like that. So. <clears throat> so, are we allowed to share that slide about the, uh, the lifelong vitality? Sure. I would. Okay. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I think it was like point zero. I think it was like zero point five percent. Yeah, it was very low. Awesome. I'm going to shut the recording off here.